Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And here I have a network update for you guys from T-Mobile. This is out of Melbourne, Florida. This is a brand new co-location, a site ad for T-Mobile at the bottom rack of Fourth Sector. Um, 5G, all the 5G uh, goodness is on this site. We're getting the N25, the N71s, the N41s, all of that uh, right off the bat as this site is as this four sector site is deployed um as far as i'm aware it's not yet active um but should be in a few months sometimes it does take a while to get you know fiber trench to the side depending on the the provider hopefully t-mobile is using a provider that's already at this site and at that point, it's really just uh, just a hookup. The stuff's already at the site, especially if they're using a fiber provider that's already at the site. So there shouldn't be any additional trenching required. Now, if they're using another third party that they have a bundle deal with and they're not at this site, I mean, then it's going to take a while to get permitting approved, trenching of however however many miles of fiber they got to trench to, to get fiber to the cell. So in many cases, it's just simpler, in my opinion at least, to just use the fiber provider that's already at the site. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, T-Mobile is very active still, right? That nine billion, eight to nine billion is doing a lot for them. They're still deploying aggressively in, in big cities. Um, now they're, they're starting to do co-locations across small cities and rural areas. We're seeing that on Reddit. I got people sending that to me. Hey, I'm in I'm in rural Kentucky, and boom, T-Mobile just added three sites, co-locations. So that eight to nine billion is getting a lot done for T-Mobile. It's allowing them to still produce, you know, hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars worth of profits from these business companies, right? That's that's what that eight to nine billion allows them to do. So that, that's the way you have to look at it. Can T-Mobile still achieve the guidance and the goals that they're targeting with the eight to nine billion? Yes, they can still clearly achieve that without problem. Now, if that ever becomes a problem, then you got to look at, okay, is what we're investing, is that still enough to drive the types of revenues and profits that we're looking for? And if that's no longer the case or the investor, the shareholder is looking for just that much more, then T-Mobile has to look at, okay, how do we accelerate this type of growth? How can I accelerate the fiber build? And that's clearly going to come from capital invested. Now, there is a $60 billion investment going back into the dividends, buybacks. That's for the shareholders. But as I stated in previous videos, that could be lessened right? They could spend that less than 60 billion, invest some of that money back into fiber or back into the wireless network. I mean, I wouldn't be mad if they spent 12, 13, 14 billion dollars on the network and we would see that much more improvement. But I will say what we're seeing at the 8.4 to what is it? 8.6 to 9.4 billion it's impressive. I got to give them that. It's impressive what we're seeing. Could it be faster? Sure. But it's, it's, it's impressive nonetheless what we're seeing. New sites going up. We're seeing s small sales being upgraded. For example, my market, the Strandmounts are getting N41. I'm seeing, it, I'm seeing it in LA. They're upgrading some of these. Actual, they're actually adding CRAN in Florida with N41 on it. So they're definitely making strides and, and are advancing. And that lower capex, as people are calling it, is allowing them still to hit all of their targets. The, guided, the guidance of seven to eight million FWA customers, they're on, their, they're on target of hitting that. The 20% rural share, they're, they're well on their way of getting there. The 20% enterprise and small business share, they're well on their way. They have the win rates currently to get there. So the capex is enough to hit their goals, right? If the goals were higher, let's say they, they, they wanted to be more ambitious and, they, and they're shooting for 40%, 30%, 35%, which is clearly much higher, then they might have to reevaluate that number or if they could no longer hit their financial targets, right? And they needed to accelerate and, and, and grow the business even more or if they wanted to 
right, deploy their own fiber to the cell and to the home, then they're, they're going to have to definitely, definitely reevaluate the CapEx. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. See y'all in the next one. Peace.